and welcome back to my channel and another declutter with me and pack with me video. If you missed the announcement or are new here, we are moving across the country from Michigan to Texas. So five years ago, we moved to Michigan from Louisiana for my husband's job. And we always were hoping that one day we could move further back south. There's just not a lot of jobs for what he does down south. We didn't expect that it would happen this quickly. And this opportunity just came up at Christmas time. I was already doing a decluttering series on my channel when I found out we might potentially take be able to take this job and move down south and then it all happened so my decluttering series has turned into a pack with me series as I pack up my whole house for a cross-country move like I said we are super excited because we're going to be so much closer to family we just miss being in the south just because it feels like home all the food is so different there being closer to family is such an important thing to us and then also just the fact that it is warm and there's sunshine there year round so we're really excited about this move so I'm um, just showing you guys what I'm going to be doing this day and I was just going through everything in my laundry room I wanted to leave out anything that was like almost completely used up like any cleaners I could go ahead and use them because at the time I was recording this I had about a month left to my move so I was just pulling out anything that was like three quarters of the way or half empty that I knew I could use up and also I'm going to be doing a deep clean of my entire house once we actually get everything packed up and while I was doing that Aaron was just going through the closet in the laundry room because it had mainly all of like his um, stuff in there like tools and his motorcycle gear Never thought I'd be so far from home Never thought a love could grow so cold Never thought we had to run through burning fire Never thought I had to miss you and I Life changes as we know You can't, you just can't do it. It's a mess. So this is everything I left in these cabinets here for daily use. And I need to get that blue rag because I noticed it on camera. I couldn't see it in person because it was too short. And pay attention right here because um, this was a pretty funny moment that I caught on camera. Aaron's face cracks me up. Sorry. So cold. Never thought we had to run through burning fire Never thought I had to miss you and I I tried to stay into outgrowing A time changes people, we both know this It's a change of season When the tide comes rolling in And you realize there's nothing there guys in my last pack with me uh, but I got a lot of these Dollar Tree little baggies and I'm using those in any contain any boxes where I'm putting liquid items I'm putting them inside of these so if anything spills that will hopefully contain it so like I said in that video I will definitely let you guys know if that works for me once the move is complete I started putting them in this box from Lowe's but Aaron was thinking that they're gonna end up being too heavy so he thought I should move it to a heavy-duty box now the other bags I used in the other area area were a little bit thicker but this particular one is very very thin and I did end up ripping it when I moved it around so just be aware of that these ones are super thin compared to the other um, bags that are that say XXL on them um, these ones are meant for like I guess uh, comforters and stuff and they're much thinner than the other ones the other ones are a little more heavy duty so just keep that in mind Instead of going around to all of our local grocery stores and stuff and getting boxes, we decided to just purchase all of our boxes from uh, 
uh, lows so that we would have more consistent sizing on our box. And we are gonna be renting when we get to Texas. So we're just gonna save all these boxes and use them for our next move as well. So we'll end up getting two moves out of them. That's the plan anyway. But anyway, these heavy duty boxes are about twice the price of the regular boxes, but we did get some of those just for items that we thought were gonna be heavy, the canned goods. You guys will see me packing up later. I put in heavy duty boxes. Um, anything that was like, you know, I thought was gonna be super heavy, I did that with, and then um, used just the regular boxes for everything else. And we went with the medium boxes because they just seemed like a good size where you could fill them up without them being too heavy. And all of these do have handles that you can punch out as well. So I really like that about the Lowe's boxes. They're about a $1.50 or a $1.60 a piece, I believe, for the medium boxes, at least here where we live. And um, they were almost $3 for the heavy duty. So we didn't get as many of the heavy duty, but I definitely recommend those if you are purchasing boxes and you have some items. I'm sure most everybody has heavy items, but I definitely can notice a huge difference in those. So I will let you guys know how those work for us in the move as well. But as of right now, I'm pretty happy with these purchases and I feel like they were a good idea. Someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face Alright, so anything that I think I need to use To clean the house Or anything that just has a little bit left in it I'm going to go ahead and leave out and use up so that is all of this stuff and all of this stuff. I have a couple of things in the bathroom that you guys probably saw in my last video. And now I just need to go through the rest of this. And I'm gonna go under here into the sink and see if I have any duplicates of anything and go ahead and put those, um, pack those away as well. Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no so I briefly mentioned it in my last video, but I'm gonna show you guys the little legend I made here for the color tape. And each box is gonna have a color on it and the color will just tell us what room it goes in so that it'll make it hopefully easier unpacking the truck. We have friends who are coming to meet us in Texas to help us unpack our truck. So that's gonna be super nice. And hopefully this will just help keep that move a little bit more organized. We can just go ahead and go straight to each person's room. Um, you know, based on the color on the box. Alright, both of these containers are going to stay here. Like I said, a lot of these are like almost empties. And then some of them are more deeper cleaners that I want to use when I deep clean. So I'm going to go put all this in the bathroom. Um, and then I'm going to go through this truck. on to going through Kenzie's old diaper bag. She hasn't used a diaper bag in almost a year now and I had just had it sitting in the laundry room 
um, with a bunch of trash and extra clothes and everything else in there. So I just got decided to dump it out and go through everything that was in here. And for my subscribers, there's Aaron's appearance of standing in front of the camera, not realizing I'm recording. So these are all the items that needed to go in other rooms of the house Th anything that wasn't trash so off camera I went and put those away and then I decided to move on to this bottom cabinet I knew pretty much everything in this cabinet could go ahead and be packed away so I started here before moving on to the rest of the pantry cabinets everything out and I'm only going to use like daily uh, keep daily use stuff in here um, so some of it's going to go back in there but I just kind of want to see what all I have and what we can go ahead and pack up So that's everything that's going back in here because that's stuff I'll definitely use. I promised the girls we could do a bonfire soon, <laughs> like a fire pit, so that's what that is for. Uh, um, but beyond that, have some seasonings and olive oil and stuff like that. Um, we might be making a milf with that. And this is just a little bit. I want to go ahead and let the girls eat that and finish it off. So um, that is everything. All of the rest of this will either be coming with us. I'm going to go ahead and pack it up now or it's going to Goodwill. Like we have this that we've just never used. I mean, it's probably been 10 years since we used it and I've been hanging on to it because I did use it when we very, very first got it, but it's been forever since I've used it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let someone else enjoy that. Okay, now this is the girl's snacks and breakfast foods. So most of this will probably stay in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull out some of it and see what I can pack away. This stuff is snacks that they're currently eating, so I'm gonna let them eat through that. I put those down there because I wanna go ahead and give them those. I keep forgetting them. And I'm gonna cook this in the next couple of weeks. Um, so that is why I got that for an easy meal. So this cabinet's done. 
So we are not ones to have any kind of a grocery stockpile. So in 2020, whenever um, there were shortages with trying to get things in the grocery stores, we decided to start building up a little stock of canned goods just in case. So that's almost everything down here is, is just a stockpile that we were building up. So here is all the items that I'm gonna be packing up. Um, so I decided to pull out a heavy duty box and go ahead and do that. Now, Lexa was having such a good time helping with this that I let her just take it over and you guys will see in a moment but I ended up moving on to something else and just letting her pack these boxes okay so all the things I want to keep out I'm gonna go ahead and just put up up top here all right so Lexa stacked all of these for me we're just gonna straighten some of those up so we just have a few more things to go Alexa was also getting a huge kick out of writing on the boxes I would write and then she would copy. So all of my boxes have lots of pretty drawings on them now. <laughs> but I was a little bit worried that that box was just going to be way too heavy. So I decided to go ahead and pull some of the items um, out of that box, out of the canned goods and stuff, and split them into a second box so that the boxes would not be too heavy for whoever to lift and that ended up working out pretty good I, I still had two pretty full boxes instead of filling them up to the tippy top I took the, the space at the top of them and put like extra lightweight things like our paper towels and things like that and that worked really well I wanna run through his hair but I'm trying not to stare mm -mm. I get a little closer when I see Here we are at the end of today's video with another empty cabinet and some more full boxes ready to go. This feels so good to be getting done. I hope you guys enjoyed this pack with me and got some cleaning motivation for your day. I'll have more videos on the screen in case you're interested in watching more and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.